Question 24, have a go. Okay, this could be done by way of a, um, a probability tree, but I think it's best to just sort of visualize in your mind the three branches that you'd be interested in. We're being asked to work out the probability that both pens are the same color. So that could either be a red red or a blue blue or a green green. So taking each of those in turn, the chances of a red than a red, well, we've got 10 pens to start with. So on our first pick, the chance of a red is five out of 10. However, then that pen is then gone. What's the chance then of getting a red? Well, it's four, but it's four out of nine because that first pen is gone. So five over 10 times four over nine. To multiply fractions is top times top, bottom times bottom, that's 20 over 90. Now don't simplify these, keep it, keep it all over 90, then it's a lot easier later on. Now start again, what's the chance of a blue than a blue? Well it's 3 out of 10 to start with, and then if a blue is gone it would then be 2 out of 9. So that's how we get this, 3 twos is 6, so 6 over 90. And then green, green, so again we go back in time, we start again, what's the chances of a green and then another green? Well, it's two out of 10 for the first pick, then given that green's gone, it will be then one out of nine. So again, two ones are two, 10 nines are 90, we get this. So remember, if it's a red and then another red, where it's and you multiply. So these are all multiplications up to now. Now, at this point, to get upon pens of the same color, we don't care whether it's two reds or two blues or two greens. That's why down here we're adding, because when it's an or, we add. So how do you add fractions if the denominator is the same? We well, just add the numerators and leave the denominator unchanged. That's 28 over 90. That would have given you full marks, but you could have simplified it by halving top and bottom to get 14 over 45.